Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at both simple and compound interest problems. So the most important question is which formula are you going to use? And you can determine this by reading the problems and seeing if you see the word simple or compound. And then after that, you determine if the question is asking for interest only or the total amount. So on these problems, it's just important that you go slow, you read carefully because Simple interest is set equal to the interest only, and then remember we add the principal back to find the total amount. And then compound interest is set equal to the total amount, and we subtract out the principal to find the interest. So just read the question, and that will help you determine what formulas you're gonna use and what you are going to find. So let's look at number one. It says a $12,000 savings account earns 3% simple interest per year on its purchase price. What is the total amount of the account after four years? So I see two important words. We're gonna be using simple interest and we're gonna be using the total amount. So let's go look at the formulas that we'll need. If it's simple interest, we're gonna start with I equals PRT, but this only finds the interest earned. It says, keep going if the question asks for total amount, which it does. So we're gonna to have to add the principal back after we find this simple interest. So let's write down those formulas that we're gonna use. We will use I equals PRT. And then to find the total amount, we will add the principal back. So let's write out our variables, I, P, R, T, and A. We're gonna find A by finding I first. Okay, so the principal is 12,000, the comma's supposed to be right there. The rate is 3%, which is 0 0.03, and then the time is four years. So now we can find the interest by doing PRT. We will do I equals 12,000 times the rate of 0 0.03 times four years. So let's find the interest by doing 12,000 times 0 0.03 let me try again, 12,000 times 0 0.03 times four. There we go, so the interest on that account would be 1,440, but remember they are asking for the total amount. So I need to add the principal and the interest together. So the interest was 1,440, the principal was 12,000. I'll add those together to find the total amount. So 1440 plus 12,000. There we go, I get 13,440. So this account asks for the total, or this question asks for the total amount in this simple interest account, and we found it. All right, let's look at number two. It says, Gavin opened a savings account with a principal balance of $2,250 and will not make any additional deposits or withdrawals. The account earns 2.4% interest compounded annually. What is the total amount that Gavin will ha have in his account at the end of six years? So we're gonna need compound interest and we need the total amount or A. So with compound interest, we start with A equals P times one plus R to the T, and that finds the total amount. So all we have to do here is that formula. A equals P times one plus R to the T, and then that will tell us the total amount of the compound interest account. So I'm gonna write out the variables I need. I'm finding A, so I need P, R, and T. So P is the principal which is $2,250. The account earns 2.4% interest compounded annually. So 2.4% as a decimal is 0 0.024. And then the time is six years. So to find the total amount, I will do 
2,250 times one plus my rate of 0 0.024 to the sixth power. So 2,250 times one plus 0 0.024 to the sixth power, the total amount in that account after six years would be $2,594.00. All right, number three, it says, Karen took out a loan for $725 with a 2.5% interest rate that is compounded annually. No additional money will be deposited or withdrawn from the account. How much interest will Karen pay back at the end of 18 months? So we are going to use compound interest. And remember that formula is set equal to A, the total amount. So we will start with that formula, but then we have to keep going because it asks for the interest only. So after we find the total amount, we will have to subtract out the principal to find the compound interest earned. So we're gonna need both of the formulas. We will do A equals P times one plus R to the T. And then we will find the interest by taking that total amount and subtracting out the principal. So let's write out the variables. The interest is what I'm finding. I'll have to find the total amount first. So let's fill in. The principal was $725. The rate was 2.5%, which as a decimal is 0 0.025. And then the time was 18 months. And I'll have to divide that by 12 to determine the time, because time has to be in years. And 18 divided by 12 is 1.5. Okay, now let's plug in 725 times 1 plus the rate of 0 0.025 to the 1.5 power. So 725 times 1 plus 0 0.0, or 0, yeah, 0 0.025 to the 1.5 power. So the total amount in the account is $752.36. But remember this question was asking for the interest, so now I have to subtract out the principal. So to find the interest, I will take my total amount, 752.36, and subtract out my principal of 725. Okay, so let's find the interest by taking the total amount of 752.36 and subtracting the principal of 725. And the interest earned would be $27.36. All right, number four, Jack's aunt gave him $3,000 to save until he starts college in four years. His aunt agreed to pay him an additional 6.5% simple annual interest on the $3,000. How much interest will Jack's aunt have given him at the end of four years? So we are talking about simple interest and I just want the interest. So let's look at our formulas. Simple interest is I equals PRT and that finds the interest earned. So I just need this formula on number four. All I have to do to find the simple interest is I equals PRT. So let's write out our variables, I, P, R, and T, and I need to find I. So the principal is 3,000, And then the rate is 6.5%, which as a decimal is 0 0.065, and then the time is four years. So I just have to multiply those together to find the simple interest. 3,000 times 0 0.065 times four. 3,000 times 0 0.065 times 4 is $780. So in interest, 
he will have earned $780. All right, let's look at number five. An employee puts $5,000 into a retirement account that offers 9% interest compounded annually. The employee makes no additional deposits or withdrawals. What is the amount of interest the employee will have earned at the end of five years? So we're dealing with compound interest and it's just asking for the interest. So we will do this formula and then find the total amount and then we have to keep going because it asks for the interest earned only. So after we find the total amount, we will subtract the principal to find that compound interest. So let's write down the two formulas that we will use. A equals P times one plus R to the T. And then to find the interest, I will have to take the total amount and subtract out the principal. So A, P, R, T, and I are all the variables. I want to find I, but I'm gonna have to find A first. So now let's fill in everything else. The principal is 5,000. The rate is 9% or 0 0.09. And then the time is five years. So to find the total amount, I'll do 5,000 times one plus 0 0.09 to the fifth power. So 5,000 times one plus 0 0.09 to the fifth power, the total amount would be $7,693.12. But remember this question is asking for the interest. So now I have to take that amount and subtract the principal from it to figure out the interest or how much it grew. So there's my total amount. I will subtract out my principal of 5,000. So 7,693.12 minus 5,000 is $2,693.12. All right, last one. Dylan earns 3% simple interest on his principal amount of $10,500. No additional money is deposited or withdrawn from Dylan's account. What is the total amount of Dylan's account at the end of the year? So we're dealing with simple interest and the total amount. So we will start with this, but that only finds the interest. I'll have to keep going to find the total amount. I will add the principal back to the interest. So let's write down those formulas. I'm gonna do I, equals PRT, and then to find the total amount, I will take that interest and add the principal back to it. So I, P, R, T, and A are my variables. I want to find A, the total amount, so I'm gonna have to find the interest first. The principal is 10,500. The rate is 3.7% or 0 0.037. And then the time, it just says one year. So it'll just be one. So to find the interest, I will do the principal of 10,500 times my rate of 0 0.037 times the time of one. So 10,500 times 0 0.037 times one. The interest on that account at the end of the year would be 388.50. But remember it's asking for total amount. So now let's add the principal back. So interest was 388.50. I add the principal of 10,500 back to find the total amount. and I get 10,888.50 for the total amount of that account.